Okay, um, continuing uh, with the data link layer. Um, not so much protocol. Well, I suppose we're going to be talking about one protocol. But we're starting to move towards the kind of attacks that we can see at the data link layer. And uh, in order to do that, I'm starting with um, the uh, ARP protocol. And, well, I guess since it's ARP is address resolution protocol, uh, that's sort of the ARP protocol protocol. And anyway, the um, <coughs> address resolution protocol is a uh, mapping of, as I mentioned, the uh, MAC address, the hardware address, the actual device address to the IP address, which we are going to be using at the network layer for addressing so on and so forth. Um, the uh, IP address is going to be assigned, uh, and sometimes it's, it's going to be... Um, Ugh, uh, dynamically assigned, and and so it may even change. <clears throat> but uh, the the MAC address, of course, is is well, it's not exactly fixed in hardware. You can set the MAC address. So you know. Anyway, we um, we have this mapping in order to do uh, the delivery of the appropriate packet to the appropriate device, and it is the the table, the database. Uh, to do this mapping is built uh, again dynamically. The um, uh, you know a, a device says you know I want to communicate uh, the uh, whatever uh, system assigns it an IP address and uh, uh, either the device itself or the uh, assignment uh, controller. Uh, Broadcasts to everybody that um, you know this is this is the mapping you know this is the MAC address and it means this particular IP address. So when uh, everybody picks up that broadcast and and maintains this database. Now ARP is a very noisy protocol. It keeps on broadcasting. It keeps on. Uh, uh, even if things don't change, um, devices uh, tend to uh, keep rebroadcasting. You know, hey, I'm still here. Uh, my MAC address is this, and my IP address is this. And every time that entry gets broadcast, it gets picked up by all the devices. All the devices then, uh, uh, you know, enter that into their table. The uh, so, you know, this table is being built, but notice at no point is there any authentication there. There's nobody to say, yes, this, this mapping is valid. This, uh, you know, this is the right address for this uh, particular uh, device serial number. So people can fake it. So an attacker uh, can connect to a network. And again, you know, we're, let's... You know, stick with the Ethernet and and say that somebody has you know tapped into uh, our Ethernet segment cable, and um, uh, then all they have to do is sort of you know look at this table and you know, figure out some things and, and say, okay, you know, this is uh, Rob's machine. We want to. Uh, attack Rob's machine or eavesdrop on Rob's machine or whatever. Um, so we tell, uh, you know, we broadcast. My IP address is, and we give Rob's IP address, and my MAC address is, and the attacker gives their own MAC address. So now everybody thinks that the attacker's machine is Rob's machine. And so all the traffic intended for Rob goes instead to this machine. Now, I, of course, you know, that's, that's an attack on one machine, but we can go further than that. We can uh, build it out 
more extensively and, and say, okay, we've identified the machine that's the router for this network. Now, anything that goes out to the internet, any uh, request made to the internet, uh, and, you know, any communication involving the wider internet, the uh, attacker can say, uh, yeah, again, broadcast, okay, my IP address is, give the IP address of the router, and my MAC address is, and give their own IP address. Now they've got the full, uh, you know, all communication going through, uh, going out to the internet goes through them. And of course, knowing that they've done this themselves, they can, you know, keep their own internal table and uh, any requests that they want to pass along to the outside world, such as logins or whatever, they can, and, and they can harvest the information that comes back. So, the, um, you know, this, the, the ARP poisoning um, can, you know, be fairly extensive. So, you know, that's one particular attack. But it, it points out the general uh, idea of lying or, you know, giving the wrong information. That's, that's one thing. Or um, uh, just malforming the packets. Uh, we've had various attacks over the years. Um, and uh, basically they succeeded because people made mistakes in, in programming the protocols and didn't expect anybody to deliberately mess with the packets. And so uh, the ping of death was a packet that was simply too large and an awful lot of um, uh, TCP IP uh, implementations just couldn't handle that packet size and you know when they saw this big huge packet uh, they would just you know fall over and die the um, another one was when uh, packets are assembled and, and reassembled um, disassembled and reassembled the um, uh, packets would be specifically malformed so that there were overlapping fragments or there were uh, missing fragments. There were disparate areas. Um, and, and again, you know, in, in certain implementations, uh, the protocol stack couldn't handle that and, and would just, you know, basically die. Um, I think uh, Teardrop uh, was, was one of these with the, the overlapping or, or missing fragments. Um, uh, now, I... As I say, you know, this is uh, problems with implementation, and as these uh, attacks were discovered, the implementations were corrected, and so, you know, those particular attacks don't work anymore. But the concept of uh, deliberate lying, deliberate falsification, deliberate malformation of the data is still there and is still being used. Um, for example, Wi-Fi is... Uh, now subject to, um, oh, uh, originally it was called a Smurf attack and a Fraggle attack. Um, it had to do with, um, it's actually rather fun to do in a, in a live seminar, um, uh, sending uh, ping packets uh, out to a, a whole huge network uh, to everybody. And, uh, you know, a ping is normally, um, you know, I, I am me, uh, are you alive? And, and the, uh, you know, machine you're trying to uh, connect to or, or find out about just responds, I'm alive, yeah. Um, so, but when you uh, send out a packet to address to absolutely everybody in the world um, and then say... Um, you know, I am target that we want to hit. 
are you alive to everybody that everybody in the world responds to the target that we want to hit and of course uh, you know they can't deal with the, the traffic anyways that same idea has now been used in um, in Wi-Fi implementations as well so you know yes uh, those individual implementations are being corrected but the concepts are still being used and still work.